Good afternoon, everyone. This is Henry, and as we get into tonight's review, I was going to spend a little bit of time here on a theme that I think has been relatively popular in the market, but that is that of the strength in the dollar and the impact that it is having on equities. So you can see this kind of where the dollar bottomed out. A um, couple first weeks in July, market goes on to top out a few weeks after that. And then, of course, you can see the basically straight up move that has continued to have, you know, bearish implications for stocks. Now, if you want to think about this correlation and really see it on a, I think, a little bit clearer view for intraday trading, let's move over to the currency pair. And we're going to look at it through the euro because this is one of the most direct comparisons to look at. And uh, I like this where you can come in and once we've got the currency pair up, Let's um, add a comparison. So we'll go to studies, edit studies, and we'll just search for the comparison. And then we're going to change it from the default of the SPX, because that only covers the cash session, over into the S&P continuous futures. So once we get that all done and hit apply, you're going to see this relationship better on something like a 15 minute chart. So, you know, when you step back and look at it from here, there's going to be spots in this where it's not uh, tick for tick, especially as you think about the overnight action, right? The futures may not mimic it, but then look through here, right? That move was pretty much in sync. And then when you saw all of this, right, the currency pair is moving lower with the S&Ps. And this will be one of the things that you want to look at tomorrow morning. Essentially, if the euro dollar is showing some uh, strength and bouncing, well, then there may be a little bit more to the equity bounce. We'll assess SPX at the uh, first test of 4300 and then see if we can tie all of this back together to make some intelligent decisions. Uh, if we do start to find that there's going to be something to buy, I think Meta has a little something going on here. Now, I think they may have announced a new headset or something, which I don't uh, really pay much attention to that but I do pay attention to the wick that you saw, right? So flushes right down into the 100 day simple and finds active buyers there, closes up in the upper third of the range of the day, and you have a squeeze in play. So between the daily squeeze and the three day, I'm just watching this for the time being, but if we can see the dollar start to calm down, you know, maybe this is a spot to look at getting long. So I hope that helps. You guys have a great rest of your evening and we'll see you at the next free video. Hey traders, this is Henry with simplertrading.com. I wanted to thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful. And if so, be sure to click the like and subscribe buttons down below. If you would like to also see me putting these ideas into action and trading my own account live in front of you, be sure to sign up at simplertrading.com and I hope to see you in the chat room sometime soon.